Hello YouTubers, what's going on? Hope everyone's having a good weekend. I sure definitely am. <clears throat> anyway, today I'm talking about a very interesting behavior called aloofness. Now, I don't know if a lot of you know what it is, but it's the kind of uh, behavior where a person seems isolated, um, disinterested, and refuses to speak. And I know, like, a lot of people think that the behavior pretty much is, you get the idea of thinking, well, this person's being rude, but no, they're not. It's, <clears throat> it's a mystical behavior. See, people who are like that are, are going to show very few emotions, and I think connecting with others and being in relationships are definitely anything but on the top of their priority list. That's probably the lowest of the low. But um, if you are trying to communicate with someone who isn't aloof, you should basically do this. I know you would say the easy way out is to basically avoid the person and just say, okay, this person's not speaking. If I'm not worthy of his time, then he or she is not worthy of my time. I know you think that way, but there is another way through or around it. Now, I'm not saying that you can you can definitely break the spell, but it's worth a shot. First off, uh, you should be friendly. You shouldn't... Don't cling on them. Don't, you know... Don't ask them a bunch of questions. Just say, if you need something, I'm here, and then leave it be. Okay, because it's, it's obvious that they view people as a threat. See, aloofness is not a choice. It's a survival tech technique. Because these are individuals who have been rejected, they've been bullied, they've lived in the shadows, and it's hard for them to open up to people in the world. And I know that there's very few people that see it as as, a, as an illness. They don't see it that way. They think, okay, why does this person not want to talk? But another thing is if you do give up, if you give up hope thinking this person can't open up or anything like that, then just move the fuck on. This person is not your concern. There's little you can do to help them. You know, just, you know, it's like, you're not paid to fuck around with them, so then no. You know? But I think it'd be good if people would take the time to see that not every person out there who doesn't speak or is like, leave me alone and get out of here, is rude. <clears throat> They're the kinds of people who wants, want space. <clears throat> you know? I mean, you know, there's so much noise and drama and it's good to get away from all that. You know? I see it a lot. I mean, people with their headphones on, and then, you know, people are looking at them like, why doesn't that person talk more? I'm thinking, why don't you fucking mind your own business? You know? And you see that, it's like, you're thinking, ah, he thinks he's cooler than other people, but no. <clears throat> they don't take the time to see it, that maybe they're hurt, they're wounded, they're afraid to be out in the world, they're trying to protect themselves. Anyway, if I'm sure there are people online who are like that, and I've known people who are like that. Um, like, if you are, you know, just, if you've known, known people like that, just, you know, give me a comment, I'll answer it as always. Have a good weekend, fuckers. Peace out. Bye.